volunteer a fat man is a joke and a fat woman is two jokes one on herself and the other on her husband half the comedy in the world is predicated on the paunch at that the human race is divided into but two classes fat people who are trying to get thin and thin people who are trying to get fat fat the doctors say is fatal i move to amend by striking out the last two letters of the indictment fat is fat it isn't any more fatal to be reasonably fat than to be reasonably thin but it's a darned sight more uncomfortable so far as being unreasonably thin or unreasonably fat is concerned i suppose the thin person has the long end of it i never was thin so i don't know however i have been fat notice that have been and if there is any phase of human enjoyment any part of life any occupation avocation divertissement pleasure or pain where the fat man has the better of it in any regard i failed to discover it in the twenty years during which i looked like the rear end of a hack and had all the bodily characteristics of a bale of hay when you come to examine into the actuating motives for any line of human endeavor you will find that vanity figures about ninety per cent directly or indirectly in the essay the personal equation is the ruling equation women want to be thinner because they will look better and so do men likewise women want to be plumper because they will look better and so do men this holds up to forty years after that it doesn't make much difference whether either men or women look any better than they have been looking so far as the great end and aim of all life is concerned consequently fat men and fat women after forty want to be thinner for reasons of health and comfort or quit and resign themselves to their further years of obesity now i am over forty hence my experiments in reduction may be taken at this time as grounded on a desire for comfort not that i did not make many campaigns against my fat before i was forty i fought it now and then but always retreated before i won a victory this time instead of skirmishing valiantly for a space and then being ignominiously and fatly routed by the powerful forces of food and drink i hung stolidly to the line of my original attack harassed the enemy by a constant and deadly fire and one morning discovered i had the foe on the run it always makes me laugh to hear people talk about losing flesh unless of course the decrease in weight is due to illness no healthy person predisposed to fat ever lost any flesh if that person gets rid of any weight or girth or fat it isn't lost it is fought off beaten off the victim struggles with it goes to the mat with it and does not debonairly drop it he eliminates it with stern effort and much travail of the spirit it is a job of work a grueling combat to the finish a task that appalls and usually repels the theory of taking off fat is the simplest theory in the world it is announced in four words stop eating and drinking the practice of fat reduction is the most difficult thing in the world its difficulties are comprehended in two words you cannot the flesh is willing but the spirit is weak the success of the undertaking lies in the triumph of the will over the appetite the success of the undertaking lies in the triumph of the will over the appetite there's a lovely line of cant for you triumph of the will over the appetite it sounds like the preaching of a professional food faddist who tells the people they eat too much and then slips away and wolfs down four pounds of beefsteak at a sitting 
however i suppose it is necessary to say this once in a dissertation like this and it is said in writing about this successful experiment of mine in reducing weight i have no theories to advance except one and no instructions to give i don't know whether my method would take an 